All new at six, lashing out. The governor is striking a much different tone today about the COVID-19 data guru who claims she was removed for refusing to manipulate COVID-19 case numbers. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Paul Legron, I-Team investigator Katie Legron tonight with how Governor DeSantis went on the offense 24 hours after those accusations surfaced against the state. She is not an epidemiologist. She is not the, the chief architect of our web portal. That is another false statement. Florida's governor attempting to clear the record, but not without tearing into Rebecca Jones, a health department analyst who made headlines after claiming she was removed for objecting to censor COVID case numbers. She's not a data scientist. She's somebody that's got degree in journalism, communication, and geography. She is not involved in collating any data. She does not have the expertise to do that. Working toward a character assassination against this woman, that's the new normal, isn't it? Senator Janet Cruz, a Democrat from Tampa, calling out the governor's attack. If someone blows a whistle or someone talks about an injustice, then attack the individual rather than face head on the issues. Cruz is now joining other lawmakers, asking the state's inspector general to investigate Florida's Department of Health and if the agency really removed Jones for reportedly voicing her objection to manipulating COVID case data to make the state look safer to open. Jones has not responded to our calls and emails, and Cruz says she too has not spoken to the employee who started working for the department in 2018. But in this email from the governor's press secretary, Jones's removal comes after she exhibited a repeated course of insubordination during her time with the department, including her unilateral decisions to modify the department's COVID-19 dashboard without input or approval. So her supervisor dismissed her because uh, of, of a lot of those reasons and it was a totally valid way, but she should have been dismissed long before that. Jones has the option to resign or she'll face termination. We've asked for, but have yet to receive her personnel file. In my opinion, she's a whistleblower and she's a hero here. The governor also bringing up unrelated but active criminal charges Jones has in her past for cyber stalking. She has until tomorrow, 5 p.m. to resign or get fired. I'm my team investigator, Katie Legrone, taking action for you.